it is uh, awesomely humbling to be standing here today as majority leader. It certainly wasn't in life's plan, uh, but life somehow deals different cards at different times. And so, so here I stand, humbled and uh, loaded with a sense of responsibility to, uh, to move this caucus and this uh, Senate forward during the course of the, the coming months, and hopefully we can do that, and we can do that well, and I'm confident that uh, working together that we will, that we will. And I would like to certainly recognize our new members. Uh, I'm not even sure where you're sitting any, uh, yet, but we have, okay, Senator Jeff Hayden, welcome to the Senate, Jeff Hayden, uh, it's good to have you here. And uh, Senator Kerry Dietzik, uh, where are you? Okay, in the corner. Welcome, Senator Dietzik, it's good to have you. And, uh, and Senator Eaton, Senator Eaton's up in front, uh, it's good to have you. Welcome to the Senate family. I often uh, have said that uh, this, is, uh, this is the Senate, this is family, this is the mother church of state government as far as I'm concerned, and, and uh, it, it is and it always will be. This is uh, that group of people that come together, all 67 of us every year, and. Uh, and work towards the common good of our state. And uh, this is the Mother Church. Uh, the house is the house, but we're the Mother Church. And uh, let's never forget that. <laughs> let's never forget that. <laughs> uh, so as we go forward, I just uh, say this. Uh, we will have differences. Families do have differences. Uh, we know that. Uh, there will be differences in the way we feel about issues, and, and that's okay. And I've said this maybe five times before in this, in this room, uh, they built the place for the great debate. And we can have that great debate, and we ought to. And if we don't, frankly, we're, we're cheating our founders who came together in 1905 and said, uh, we're going to build this capital, and it's going to be for the great debate in Minnesota, that great civil discourse that comes together every year and debates the issues of our state. And it ought to be that way, and it will be that way. Uh, and all I would ask is, we'll have the great debate, but let's have it in the room. We don't have to have it on the streets. And, uh, and we can go forward as we leave this room uh, together once again as a family. And we all know that uh, those of us that have been here for a few years, that uh, through the uh, years, uh, we do come together as a family in uh, joy and certainly in sadness. And, uh, and we hope we don't have sadness certainly this year. And uh, we're looking forward to a, a great year, and, and, and I am as well. There's going to be issues, obviously, uh, I think on both sides, as Senator Bach and I have stood uh, at various debates, many of them actually pre-session. Uh, it's amazing how many people want to listen to you uh, in advance of this session, and uh, they pay so much to hear so little, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but nonetheless they do. Uh, and, and certainly our, our, our common theme always is jobs and prosperity. What can we do as a, a Minnesota Senate, as a state legislature? and certainly as a governor's office to advance jobs and prosperity in Minnesota. Well, we're going to be working on that, and I know Senator Michelle has some ideas out of his job committee, but, but everyone has to collectively come together and put their best heads together and, uh, and make a new Minnesota a reality, and we can do that. That's our charge. We can't probably create jobs in and of ourselves, but we can create an environment for jobs in Minnesota, and we ought to do that. And as we look at the regulatory climate in Minnesota, and I don't care what party you are or where you go, we constantly hear about regulations getting in the way of, of job progress in Minnesota. And we've got to take a look at that, and we will, we have, we'll continue to look at it because that's an important phase of, uh, of moving Minnesota forward. Uh, other issues that obviously are going to be before us, uh, uh, we're going to probably talk about a constitutional amendment or two. And uh, just know that that's probably going to be a little divisive, but again, that's the great debate. And it ought to occur here, and it probably will occur here, and that's okay. Uh, we'll also probably talk about a Viking stadium along the way. Uh, I don't think we can avoid that. I don't probably think we should. I mean, we've been charged, I think, with, uh, with that in terms of something that's on our plate. We'll take it up. We'll hopefully find something that works. It may or it may not, but I think we need to look at that and, and certainly move forward. Certainly other things, the school shift, property tax uh, reform issues are going to be before us, but uh, hopefully this is my wish. Uh, that we have the good civil discourse, that we have uh, good deliberations, uh, but most of all, that we have a short session and we're home quickly. So <laughs> thank you so much for this opportunity. Uh, look forward to serving as leader this year, and uh, it's great, my great honor, my great uh, uh, privilege, and I regard it as that, uh, 
and I will humbly do all I can to make this a, uh, a successful session for all. Thank you. Further announcements, Senator Bach. Uh, thank you, Madam President. Uh, Senator Senjum, uh, I look forward to uh, a very good session, and if I could set the bar, let's go home on April 2nd, people. Uh, I've been here, been through redistricting before, and I know the angst that there's going to be in the part of a lot of members on this floor when the new maps come out on February 22nd. So uh, that's when I'd like to adjourn. That's the discussion that I had with the previous uh, uh, majority leader and the previous deputy. And uh, Senator Sendrum, look, look forward to working in a constructive way with you so that we can accomplish that. But I think today, I mean, every time I walk in this chamber, it's with a bit of awe that I have been given, and all of us have been given, an incredible responsibility. And it cannot be better exemplified than in the words that ring this chamber. And those of you that are new, read what Daniel Webster said. And I think those of us that have been here a while, it's wise today to remind ourselves of those words that ring this chamber. And that we treat this institution with the respect that it deserves in the best interest of the people of our state.